Welcome to short highlights of the Minerva Classic Brugge de Panne, the unofficial World Sprinters Championships in West Hook, the Western Hook of West Flanders. It's a course which is well known to fans of the Dreidagse Brugge de Panne, the three days of de Panne. It is the flattest, fastest of the old stages that was used for that race. And it concludes with three and a half laps round a 45k circuit, which is normally ripped apart by the wind. But unusually for this part of Belgium on a day in the springtime, the wind was incredibly calm today. Three breakaway riders went very early on, as you can see them just having departed, and they built up a lead around about six minutes. They were Enrico Bataglin of Bardiani CSF Faisane, Jens Reinders of Sport Vlander and Balois, and Dimitri Peskins. Uh, this was the moment not too long before they were caught, actually. They were going through the only sprint point of the day, and Jens Reinders of Sport Vlander and Balois won the only sprint to win himself a lifetime supply of Minerva e-bikes. There he is. He actually persisted after that one, too, content to with the fact that he'll be on an e-bike for the rest of his days now. But all the while, there were too many of the world's very best sprinters in here, and amongst them Sam Bennett, of course, Mark Cavendish, uh, Arno Dumas, Olav Koy, Dylan Groenewegen, and of course, with all those big names there, Pascal Ackerman, Tim Mullier, all the while, their teammates thinking only about them. The last of the two riders to be caught were the two Belgians in that breakaway, and it was Quickstep Alpha Vinyl, who were looking to lead out the Manx Missile, the winningest rider in this field this year, Mark Cavendish, in the finish. As the race got into the last 30k, though, we saw a smattering of, thankfully, not too bad, but nasty looking at the time crashes. This was Tour Dens, the Belgian rider for Sport Vlander and Balois, making his way into one of the many grassy ditches. And then we saw a whole series of uh, near misses for the peloton as they split off on either side of fences, a land furniture, and on one occasion, one of the riders unfortunately riding into one of our flagmen looking to keep the race safe. We do wish everyone well that's been involved in those accidents. As we got nearer and nearer to De Panna and the closing three uh, kilometers, some of the bigger teams really took control, and it really narrowed after this point as they came back into De Panna. Tim Malia well positioned, Dylan Kronewegen well positioned there, and just out of this corner, as you'll see on this moment here, a nasty moment for Pascal Ackerman, hitting his head as he went down, and having the sense to stay down. We wish him well too, the big German. The sprint continued without him as one of the favourites. De Koenig Quickstep and Yannick Steimler doing the last lead out to try and keep Cavendish in position. Young Olav Koy of Jumbo Visma was the next of those to launch, but he launched very early. Nasser Buhani, Dylan Groenewegen and Tim Malier right on his wheel and ready to mop up whatever was left. Max Walscheid also trying to come through the middle. Dylan Groenewegen looking like he got it on the line. But the former Belgian champion, Tim Malier, looked to cross, having taken the win. He wasn't sure for a long time afterwards until he had it confirmed, in fact. But it was Tim Malier on the right of his shot as you look down on him there in the dark blue of Alpacin Fenix and the dip on the line just ahead of Dylan Groenewegen. It was a long, drawn-out sprint after a very dangerous and tetchy run-in to the finale in uh, Dupana, but there he is, Tim Malia, the winner, Dylan Groenewegen second, Nasser Buhani third, and a great ride by Max Walscheid after battering himself in the wind to try and stay up there all that time. In the end, taking fourth, just ahead of Olaf Koy, and there was your podium. Malia with his third win of the season so far. A great start, and it bodes well ahead of a month uh, of brilliant racing ahead, and particularly two fantastic weeks to come here at the home of cycling in Flanders.